Hello, I'm going to review the movie Dope for you guys. The posters and short description of the movie were like enough for me. I felt it's a refreshing movie, brought the DVD and guess what, I liked it. The movie was released on 19th June of last year. Before anything, I'd like to mention how awesome Shamek Moore was in this movie. Absolutely a 5 star performance. His lead literally made the movie stand apart. It's the type of story that was highly dependent on the lead actor. Such class, such talent. Halfway into the movie you will feel like pausing and take a moment for appreciating Sham Moore for playing Malcolm so good. Rated by more than 32k users, it has a rating of 7.3 on IMDB and got an 88% rating on Red Tomato. Personally, I would rate it 8 out of 10 for the originality and uniqueness. The story is basically with three high school geeks. They were not like the not so cool and unwatchable character. They are obsessed with 90s hip hop and culture. They dress and do everything like they are in the 90s. If you watch this film without knowing anything beforehand, you will feel like it's taking place in the 90s for a while before you see the iPhones and stuff, you know. Malcolm the lead is a pro level geek and still plays Super Nintendo. Well, overall, they got picked on a, lit a little by others in high school. They're really the cool type. They have a goddamn Afropunk band on their own, of their own, and they do get some appreciation at one point. Malcolm, along with his friend Diggy and Jib, lives in the dark part of Inglewood, which is the home of gangs and drugs and all sorts of stuff. One of the messages the movie tries to give us. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from, if you try hard enough, you will be the man, the man who gets what he wants. But yes, living in such a wonderful place and getting picked on on a regular basis with not much money in hand and getting involved in some drug business can make it just a bit more challenging, you know? Especially when you want to become a Harvard man. Being a Harvard fallout, I can relate to that. But it also shows that challenges just make you better if you know how to deal with it. One thing I like about the movie is the characters aren't sympathy seeking. Once like in 99 other movies, yes, they have a hard life. So what? They're no angel or something? Especially the character Malcolm was never like, Hey audience, you must like me for all this. He gets into troubles and deals with it, he's a style. The movie brings on a lot of concepts, some scenes that might not seem very relevant to you, but overall it gives us this feel and a lot to think about. There were scenes like uh, some thugs ranting their philosophy on the world, Obama and politics. These things, things like bitcoins, deep wave, etc. are mentioned which is great. It brings the film this generation type of feel. The film itself is very optimistic, it doesn't get bogged down by all the negativity around. Malcolm and his friends do get dramatically forced into an illegal business that they would otherwise never do. But the joy and what you may call awesomeness, awesome things in it was highlighted mostly. You will feel like it's a, uh, is it adventure comedy? Dark humor, drama and uh, not dark humor? The director really did a great job here. There are a lot of smart jokes throughout the movie and some of it are intelligently linked to the depth of the story. Famuya and cinematographer Rachel Morrison made a perfect cross bit of 90s and a modern day technologies which was really pleasant to watch. I like the fact that, that they didn't feel morally obliged to put down a transparent positive message and making the lead actor look like an angel. Malcolm does whatever necessary to maintain his dignity keeping his goals in mind. It's amazing how they portrayed that how the desperation to achieve, achieve something badly can make you act sensibly. Yes, he did a lot of stuff but his heart for doing well was always there. This was highlighted in an artistic way. Famoya throughout the movie used a unique technique to tell the story, used the split scenes and freeze the action and he didn't overuse it at all. Diggy and Jib about the right had about the right amount of screen time and played the roles decently. And I'm not going to break down what I think the real message of the movie is because it's the most important part and they don't have any particular message, it depends on how an individual might interpret it. You will be like, oh wait, I see what they are trying to say. But wait, why did he do that? Um, and this doesn't go with that. 
Hmm, this needs some deep thinking. I extremely like the way they shuffled through different aspects without elaborating and ended up giving us something something to think about. Well, I think that's just enough for you already. Just watch it. Watch this dope movie and I hope you will like it and of course let me know what do you th- what you think. If you already did watch the movie, please bless the comment section with your comments and irrelevant of the fact if you like my videos or not, subscribe to my channel and be in touch.